I'm Kim Becker here at the Jim Click Hall of Champions in McHale, where some of the Arizona Wildcat greats are recognized for their amazing achievements during their time as a student athlete here at the University of Arizona. Back to the four yard line. Wooski, number 20 on the season. Intercepted. Cesar in the end zone. A touchdown. There are numerous football players honored here at the Hall of Champions who left a legacy in Tucson, and three of them just so happened to be on Jed Fish's staff. Let me start off by taking you back to a time where a certain defensive back made a play that Arizona fans have voted to be the best in history. That defensive back was none other than College Football Hall of Famer and our safeties coach, Chuck Cecil. The year was 1986 and the Arizona Wildcats were in the midst of their rival game against the undefeated Arizona State Sun Devils playing for the Territorial Cup. The Sun Devils were ranked number four in the country, but that was no sealed fate for the Arizona Wildcats. It was the third quarter and the Cats were up 24-10 when ASU quarterback Jeff Van Rapworst hurled the ball towards the end zone expecting a catch and six points when instead what he got was Chuck Cecil. He's gonna throw for the end zone, intercepted, Cecil in the end zone, he's out to the 15, the 20, the 30, a touchdown! The Cats ended up upsetting the Sun Devils and earned an invitation to the Aloha Bowl. And to top it all off, Cecil's touchdown interception goes down as the longest interception return in program history. Yet another one of the most decorated Arizona Wildcats is also a defensive coach on our staff. And the Jim Click Hall of Champions gets to show off this perfect statue of his head on the daily. Defensive line coach and legendary Arizona linebacker Ricky Hunley has the all-time record number of tackles in Wildcats history with 566. When Hunley was playing here, he was one of the best linebackers in the country, and he remains one of the best linebackers to ever come through the University of Arizona. Not only does he hold some very impressive Arizona records, but Hunley also assisted the Wildcats in upsetting four top 10 teams during his tenure. In 1998, Hunley was the first U of A player inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. And during his time here at Arizona, he was a two-time consensus All-American, three-time first-team All-Pac-10, and the 1983 Pac-10 Co-Defensive Player of the Year. And I can attest to this statement from personal experience, Hunley is also a fantastic mentor and an incredible coach. And last but not least, let's take a look at the legacy that the senior advisor to Jed Fish and the legend himself, Teddy Bruschi, left here in Tucson. <laughs> The 1995 Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year helped spearhead one of the most destructive defenses in the country during the Desert Swarm era. Bruschi had a total of 185 tackles, 74 tackles for loss, and tied the NCAA Division I sack record with 52 sacks during his time as an Arizona Wildcat. We all know Bruschi saw a ton of success in the NFL and is still seeing that success in his broadcasting career but what made him the man he is today were some of the times that he spent with his Arizona teammates right here on our campus. I'm Kim Becker with Arizona Football, and the next time that you're here in Tucson, make sure that you swing through the Jim Click Hall of Champions so you can learn a little bit more about the history of Arizona athletics. <laughs>